A 41-year-old Pinellas County, Florida attorney from Blanchard Law on Belcher Road, Stephen Cuzzy, was last seen at work on Tuesday, March 21, 2023. On Friday, March 23rd, the Lago Police Department alerted the media that Stephen Cuzzy was officially missing. They also said it was under suspicious circumstances. Welcome back to another episode of Grizzly True Crime. My name is Gizella Kay, and today we'll be looking at a case that has just happened in Florida, where a plastic surgeon has been arrested and charged with first-degree murder of an attorney. Let's get into it. His family was frantically looking for him, as were his co-workers, who last saw him inside the building. It was as if he vanished into thin air. His wallet, car keys and cell phone were left behind, and his car was parked where he left it. But still, the only thing that made sense to all his co-workers was that he must have left the building. However, a review of the surveillance footage showed that he never exited the building. Kozzi's husband pleaded for any information that could bring him home, saying... My husband, the love of my life, is missing since Tuesday. I will not stop until we bring him home. Anyone with information should contact the Largo Police Department at 727-587-6730. Co-workers noted that the communal bathroom at work had a very strong smell of bleach and they alerted the police. When the police came in to search for clues, they also noticed the very strong smell of bleach as well as a few drops of blood. Forensic tests revealed that there was a significant amount of blood in that bathroom that appeared to have been cleaned up using bleach. And so the search began for a suspicious person and a suspicious vehicle that was seen at the building around the time that Stephen Cuzzy went missing. The police were quickly led to a $1 million home of a 44-year-old plastic surgeon by the name of Thomas Roman Kazowski, who goes by Dr. K. They were able to obtain a search warrant for the home, which has not been released to the public. But they did find enough evidence to arrest him at a traffic stop at Tarpon Springs on Saturday, March 25th, 2023. He was booked into the Pinellas County Jail at approximately 4.15 a.m. and is being held without bail. He faces a first-degree murder charge, according to the Largo Police Department. Here's what the Largo Police Department had to say. Update. Arrest made in missing persons case. The Largo Police Department has arrested 44-year-old Thomas Roman Kazowski and charged him with first-degree murder in regard to missing person Stephen Cuzzy. On March 21, 2023, the Largo Police Department responded to a call for service in reference to a missing person. Officers learned that Stephen Cuzzy had left his office at 1501 South Belcher Road, leaving his wallet, car keys and cell phone. However, he was never seen exiting the building and left behind his vehicle. During the investigation, there was a strong chemical odor in the men's bathroom at the office and small drops of blood. A subsequent forensic investigation revealed a significant amount of blood in the same bathroom. Largo police detectives began looking for a suspicious person and vehicle that was seen at the office building at the same time as the victim. This led the investigation to obtain a search warrant on the Kazowski's residence in Tarpon Springs. Evidence obtained from the search warrant led to the vehicle stop of Kazowski on Saturday, March 25, 2023 in Tarpon Springs. Thomas Roman Kazowski was placed in custody and transported to Pinellas County Jail and charged with first-degree murder. The body of Stephen Cuzzy has not been located at this time. The Lago Police Department would like to thank the Tarpon Springs Police Department, Pinellas County Sheriff's Office and the Pinellas Pasco County State Attorney's Office for their assistance in this ongoing investigation. As stated, the investigation is still active and ongoing. We anticipate providing additional information when the integrity of the investigation allows us to do so. At this time, we are asking anyone that feels they have information pertinent to this investigation to call Detective Bolton at the Largo Police Department at 727-587-6730. So what was the connection between this Dr. K and Stephen Cuzzy? 
Kozowski received both his undergrad and master's degrees from the University of New Mexico, according to the Department of Health. He attended medical school at Dartmouth College in New Hampshire, serving as the president of his class, according to the news release announcing his position at the Laufer Institute. Kozowski also received a master's degree in business administration from Dartmouth's Tuck School of Business. He is considered a pioneer in the use of native fat for breast and buttock enhancement and was at the time of his hiring at Laufer positioned to become a national leader in this subspeciality in cosmetic surgery. Now, Kozowski's primary practice is listed at being at 8396 Southwest 8th Street in Miami, according to the Florida Department of Health. That address is the location of Zilouette Plastic Surgery, which offers a wide range of cosmetic surgeries, including liposuction, tummy tuck, BBL, breast augmentation with implants and more, according to the practice website. Kozowski began working at the Laufer Institute of Plastic Surgery in Dunedin in September 2016, according to court records. A news release announcing Kozowski as joining the practice describes him as an innovative and accomplished plastic surgeon who understands the art and science of the human body and how to redefine beauty for each and every patient. Less than three years later, Kozowski filed a civil lawsuit against the people associated with the Laufer Institute of Plastic Surgery for negligence, breach of contract, and fraudulent misrepresentation. And he was seeking damages in excess of $15,000. In the lawsuit, Kozowski said that he began working for Laufer Institute of Plastic Surgery in 2016, doing mostly breast reconstruction surgery. He said that the woman that the Laufer Institute of Plastic Surgery assigned to do his insurance billing didn't file claims and lied to his patients, costing him tens of thousands of dollars and resulting in negative reviews of him being posted online. Dr. K's promising young career has essentially been obliterated by the woman's actions, Kozowski's lawsuit says. Through no fault of his own, his career was put directly in jeopardy and his reputation has been deeply tarnished. He left the Laufer Institute in 2018 and set up his own practice. So the case that Kozowski had filed stems from a medical billings dispute. Kozowski's assigned insurance biller failed to provide the required monthly billing statements and intentionally and continually misrepresented to Kozowski that the claims had been filed properly according to the May 2019 complaint. One irate patient ended up handing out photographs of her unreconstructed breasts and telling others in the practice that Kozowski had butchered her and calling him a liar. She also posted negative and defamatory reviews of him online. It is important to really understand how negative reviews and negative allegations can have a huge impact on a career, reads the complaint. In this day and age, a positive online reputation is key in securing medical services as everybody first Googles practitioners from which they will be getting services from. So many of the defendants in this case are being represented by Blanchard Law, which is where Stephen Cuzzy worked. From what we know, Stephen Cuzzy was representing at least one of the defendants. The morning that Cuzzy had disappeared, Kozowski had filed a motion to compel testimony from the insurance biller, but the attorneys for the biller objected, saying that the request was a violation of the attorney-client privilege. Kozowski then filed a request for a final judgment in the case based on the biller's failure in responsive pleadings. So this is a lawsuit that's been going on for more than four years and while Stephen Cuzzy was representing some of the defendants in this case, it is quite odd that Kozowski decided to drive to this office, to this law firm, enter the building, and we don't know yet how, but murder this attorney, Stephen Cuzzy. Stephen's husband put out the following statement. He said, Today, our greatest fears were realized. 
my husband and best friend was stolen from us. He was the kindest, funniest and most brilliant man I have ever met. I knew he was the one from the day that we had our first date. I only ever wanted to protect him and to make him happy. I know I will see him again one day. Just a reminder that Stephen Cuzzy's body has not yet been found. It's also odd to think, what did Kazowski do in that bathroom and how was he able to get Stephen's body out of there unnoticed? If you have any information that you feel could help in this case, please contact the Largo Police Department at 727-587-6730. Consider this part one of the case because I'm sure we'll eventually be able to see the probable cause affidavit, possibly the search warrants, the trial, and everything else related to this case. I really hope that they will be able to find Stephen's body so that his family can properly put him to rest. Send your condolences to his husband, to his family, and to his friends. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like the way that I cover true crime cases, I hope that you will consider hitting the subscribe button and turning your notifications on so that you don't miss the next premiere, live stream, YouTube short, community post, or whatever it is I am making for you. If you'd like to see the scripts that I write for cases like this, or documents pertaining to lots of true crime cases, or behind the scenes updates, videos, walks in the forest, things like that, you can join my exclusive Grizzly Patreon community at patreon.com forward slash grizzly true crime. All tiers offer the same benefits and the lowest tier starts at $1 per month. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.